I just got a comment on my protein skimmer from more go Golan three three three. Um, I'm sorry if I don't really know how to say your name, but this video is for you because you requested it. So here it is. All right, he asked me if I can do an instructional video how to build my protein skimmer, how I did it. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna really build another one, but I will. I drew some stuff out, and I'll go through it and show you how it is. All right, starting from the bottom, what I did. You can't really see it because it's buried in the sand, but um, there is a plate underneath it, and I siliconed the pipe to it. So I just used a piece of acrylic that I had left over from doing my sump tank and everything. So I just put that on the bottom of it, I siliconed the, the pipe to it, I siliconed all the way around it so no water can get out. And then this is the chamber right here is a four inch PVC pipe. And what I've done, I'll do the, the return to line out. Um, it goes, it's like, this is the inside of the pipe. So it kind of points down towards the bottom. So then it goes out of it. I drill the hole. Um, I did a little smaller than the, this is a half inch pipe, did a little smaller hole in the pipe, and then what I did, I took a heat gun, and I uh, heated it up around the hole, and then I shoved this piece in, I just heat the piece up right here, like, kind of like a little 90 degree angle, so it was the heat gun, so then it'll just bend up, and then I just put it in the elbow at the end of it, and then it goes up, and then I put another elbow at the top. Wherever this elbow is, that's where your water line is going to be inside the tank. But I haven't really done anything. You could add like a ball valve to it so you can control the flow of the water going out. Um, but what I've just done, I just kind of like raised my water line. I kind of put another piece on here and put a 90. And then that's where my water line is. So it's a little higher up. My lights to shut off. Turn those back on for a little bit. <clears throat> so then that's where the water comes out of. And obviously it's working. So you can, if you want to, you can like put a, a ball valve wherever on this you want. So you can control the water flow. And then this is uh, my air pumps. I have three different air pumps pumping it. There's one, two, and then over here but I got a, a little valve to control the air even though they're all open but it goes in over here I drilled a hole there's a couple different holes I drilled because I had different lines in here before but it goes in it's a hard piece of airline tubing I just drilled a hole and I just kind of like stuck it through and just siliconed it in there and then inside of it is a little wooden air stone you can probably put more inside of it but I only had one so I just put it in one hole because there's three different holes drilled in here so I can if I wanted to I could take the top off I didn't glue the tops or nothing on so I can just put more in there if I wanted to but it's just fine for now and then so that makes the bubbles and everything and then what you do for the pump I have a little pump and it's got like a this is I think like a quarter or something I'm not sure um, just find what kind of hose you want really and it just goes wraps around and it goes in to the t into the other side of the thing and once again it's just a half inch uh, PVC and it's just drilled a hole and it goes down bent it with the heat gun and everything goes down so it splashes on the bottom of it and it makes all bubbles and everything so then this is the four inch pipe it's all inside this and then this piece right here this big piece is um it's a four it's from a four inch pvc to a three inch uh coupling so it's a coupling so it's a four to a three inch like this 
and then this piece right here because this is this is a different piece this is a three inch to a two inch coupling and then I have a two inch line going up and then you can put like a Tupperware bin or uh, whatever you want on top of your thing for like collection cup and then that, that's pretty much it and then your collection cups on there and then um, I just added like a little I had a bunch of holes drilled in here because this was something else before and um, what I did I just clogged all those holes up so that's why the tape and everything's there but I have one little hole just so the air can come out but I just put this line on here just in case like crap foams out of it or whatnot. And then what I just recently did today is uh, I added a longer hose on to the collection cup. And then this is my collection cup that I have for it. It's a, uh, and it comes out of the back of my fish tank stand. And then it's a, uh, it's a half gallon of whatever. You can use a milk jug, whatever you want to use for your collection cup. And then I just put a little airline breather thing on top of it. I just drilled two little holes, one for the the one going in and then my airline going out. So obviously it's working. That's been it's been on all day. And that's what I pulled out so far and it does like yeah, you can see it dripping in there. So it's pulling out some crap. I, I haven't had any thing in I haven't had the protein skimmer in here for like two or three days because I was working on this and I need the air stoned out of my uh, nano cube so I took that out but um yeah so pretty much that's how it is um if you had you can pretty much do it however you want to but the only thing I wanted I should have done I just I should have got a ball valve for this but my uh, local hardware store is all out of those ball valves, so I just kind of like rigged it up for now. But um, that's how you can do it. It's um, pretty. I'm not really sure. Like, I hope this helps uh, you guys out. If you wanted to make your own, it obviously works. It's pulling out quite a bit of stuff. It's some foamy stuff. It foams out of there. Um, you can make this higher. Your uh, this piece higher in the cup or whatever like it's pretty much you just want to measure it out like how how do you want it sitting in the tank because all tanks are different so you can just like pretty much do it wherever you want in your tank um do it to the size that you need the plate is actually a little bigger it kind of like sticks out longer on this side the bottom half because before i had a, a pump that would sit on top of this and it would shoot it in there but uh I didn't like that way because I've, I've been messing around with this one for a while so that's pretty much how it works and then the pump and everything goes in and then it bubbles everything and then that uh, air that wooden air stone for the protein skimmer um, just it makes all the bubbles and then it creates all the way up to the top and then it just foams up at the top and then pretty much the the water line goes out so hopefully this guys this helps you um, once again that's the guy that requested me to do this video so and it was only about a half hour ago that I just got your comment not even so I just ran did a video might as well so I hope this helps um, if you got any more questions um, let me know if you guys figured out another way how to do it. Let me know because it'd be great. Um, if you want another, anyone wants anything, how to do whatever, uh, let me know. I'll do a video on it. Um, if you guys have any questions about how to build like sump tanks, your stands, whatever, let me know. I'll build, uh, do a little video how I did it, whatever. So leave uh, comments, subscribe. You know, all the good stuff, so. Peace. Just give you a quick little video.
Thanks for watching. Peace.